Happy Saturday, everyone. Wow. It's the first real downpour we've had, that I can recall at least, since Hurricane Harvey. It's only been raining for about 10 minutes, and <laughs> look, our yard is already flooding, because it's just been that dry. That the but yeah, that's bringing back some, some memories. So it is Saturday. Did not have to go into work today, although I am still kind of working for my laptop, so I'm not completely off. This guy is here. Oh, God. get back here. <laughs> this guy is here. <laughs> oh, Colby almost gave you a kiss. So clearly, you wanted me to kiss you, Dad. That's why you were bending over. Hi, bud. So since it's raining, I think we're doing a pizza and a movie night. We're gonna finally see pirates. Oh no, you're making him angry. Yo ho, yo ho. <laughs> exactly. And then I nibble, and then I nibble. Oh no, I'm, what's happening? <laughs> Ash is like, really dude, why do you have to help him? <laughs> I just want to play all the time and I don't understand why no one else wants to play all the time. Why does no one else have my energy? See? I just want to play and run into mom. Meanwhile. Yeah, that's about right. That is about right for Foster Bean. Are you trying to run away from the vlog? No. Are you trying to run away from the vlog? There is no running away. There's no escape. This is your life. It's like Hotel California. Yep. Dog attacks and vlogging. This is our life. <laughs> my intention was to go take my dress in to the seamstress to actually get that fixed today. And uh, now it's pouring rain, so we'll see. I think it's a short rain. So if it leaves before the dress shop closes, I'm gonna go take my dress in to get that set up because Brittany's wedding is very soon and uh, do groceries and run errands today. But then tonight, we are planning pirates and pizza. Wow. Yum, so we did pepperoni, black olive, and garlic pizza. It smells so good. And then since I'm dieting, so I'm only partially cheating tonight and not going full on crazy on the pizza, I got myself a Greek salad so I can not eat a ton of pizza and only have a minor cheat day. Good morning, or afternoon, it's definitely afternoon. It's Sunday. I was going to say it's a rainy, dreary day outside, unless you know I was about to make soup, but now the sun's out, so I think the rain is done. However, Mike and I both slept in until almost 10.30 because it was so dark, and Mike never sleeps in, and it was so dark in the room that we both slept in super late. It has been Rain now morning, but it is stopping now. The sun's coming out. And according to Weather Buggy, it's only 61 degrees outside right now. So I kind of want to go feel and see if that's accurate. So it's a little uh, damp because obviously it's been raining all morning, but it is definitely cooler than it has been. And that feels awesome. So this week it's supposed to be gorgeous. I think we're supposed to be in the 60s, no, not 60s, 70s all week. Looks like it's going to be awesome, and I love, love, love this. <sighs> fall, you're finally here. So, I'm going to make some fall soup for Leonard. This is the recipe we received from Plated last weekend, and I'm finally getting around to it. It's roasted apple and butternut squash soup. Sounds perfect for today. <laughs> Mike immediately says meh. Excuse you. Excuse you. <laughs> oh no. What just happened there? What the? Seriously? Did you. What?
so while the apple and butternut squash was baking, I sauteed some onions and garlic, and then we added the apples and squash back into the pot with a cup of water and some chicken stock. Now we're gonna bring it up to a boil. Before, and I forgot to show you, but I poured the soup in here and just blended it, so it's all blended now. There it is, a little mascarpone cheese on top. Awesome. And I forgot to show the after, but there's the after. So hey guys, it is Monday evening. I was going by the high school again, hoping to play some band stuff for you again, but they are just marking time at the moment, not actually playing their instruments. So alas, no sound for you. Oh dear. What are they doing, Ash? What are they doing? <laughs> Get him, Foster. Get him. Get him, Foster. <laughs> oh, goodness. So you're not going to light yourself on fire like I did? Uh, no. <laughs> but, yeah, let's, let's try to kill but why not? Yourself. Oh, I She's did like, kill Maybe myself. If I light myself on fire, it'll work. I did kill myself and had to do the whole thing again because <laughs> I was stuck. So just walk all the way up to the left. It's just showing you that you can mantle <laughs> and just like go all the way to the left side and just jump. Well, unless you're like me and you just light yourself on fire. Yeah. I am good at video games, <laughs> clearly. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. I went out to get lunch during the workday and I just have to talk about. Hey. Okay, now I'm stifling. Hold on. I don't want to say how beautiful it is, but my car's been sitting in the sun, so I couldn't breathe. But it is absolutely perfect out today. My car's is 79. I don't think that's accurate. I think it's actually lower than that. My car's just been in the sun. The sky is perfect, crystal clear blue. There's a breeze. It definitely feels like fall. The light feels like fall. Everything feels like fall outside. And I'm ecstatic. We had to wait till the end of October for it to happen this year. But it's lovely, and I think I've already mentioned this because I'm just so excited. But it's going to be in the 50s this weekend. Oh, if you've been with me for any amount of time, you know that I was not meant for hot weather, that I love my cold weather, and I am ecstatic for it to even be in the 70s. I'm ready for some even colder weather. I like my sweaters, but I will accept the 70s. And it looks like we're actually going to have a nice chilly Halloween this year. As opposed to last year where I felt bad for the trick-or-treaters because it was like 85. So, yay, chilly Halloween. So I'm home from work and I'm going to Zumba. Zumba shirt already on. But I decided I'm going to make some zoodles for dinner, which is zucchini noodles. And I just bought some jarred spaghetti sauce to cheat a little bit on having a quick meal for tonight. But I'm going to doctor it, so I'm going to add some of these and some garlic and some fresh basil and stuff to make it tastes not jarred, hopefully. So when I got the good jarred stuff, I got, um, let me show you. Can you just oxymoron yourself? Why? Good jarred, good jarred sauce. <laughs> yes, the Italian that I'm dating is like good jarred sauce. There is no such thing, but I did not skimp. I did not just buy like ragu or something. <laughs> I got hopefully a decent marinara sauce. It was expensive, so hopefully expensive e means good quality? We're gonna hope. It it says right there, all natural premium quality, babe. You know, you're not buying it? I didn't buy it. <laughs> but I'm ching. Since I had extra tomatoes, I just went ahead and made like a little bruschetta topping and some balsamic vinegar in there and I'm just going to let that marinate while I'm gone at Zumba. I'll make some little bruschetta toast when I get back. Garlic and tomatoes in there. Kind of simmer those down to the sauce and then I'm going to add the tomato sauce and some chili flakes I think. I'm going to make it a little spicy. Okay, so I'm on my way to Zumba. I'm purposely leaving on the radio for a moment 
because I have a topic to discuss involving this music. Okay, so I got in my car to go to Zumba and it's 67 degrees, it's uh, just after sunset, it's dusk, and that brought back a very specific memory of a time of driving around and I specifically dug through my CD case to find the Postal Service CD. So, my topic of discussion. Do you guys have certain albums that are tied to like certain feelings, certain moods, certain weather for you? Because for me, the Postal Service is tied to being in college. I got that my freshman year of, yeah, my freshman year of college. And I used to listen to it driving around campus. Such Great Heights was the uh, first song that I heard by them and I fell in love with it. I was still in high school. I was a senior in high school when that one became popular maybe just after I graduated. And then I bought the album and that is what I listened to um, quite frequently my freshman year of college, especially in the winter. I remember having it in the colder months. So it just takes me back to this exact feeling of it being cool out and driving back to my dorm late at night, driving on campus because the speed limit on campus was 20 miles per hour. So I went to the University of Florida, if you didn't already know that. And it's a very large campus. And the speed limit on campus was 20 miles per hour. So, especially late at night, um, I liked to go for a drive. And I would just drive around campus because 20 miles per hour, it's a nice slow area, there's not much traffic. You can just listen to music and sing and uh, think. So that was one of the things I did when I was bored <laughs> at like 1 a.m. living in Gainesville. And the CD was like, ugh, my favorite. So as soon as it got to the right weather, I needed to listen to the Postal Service. I have tons of different CDs and specific songs that fit specific times as far as moods, weather, everything. So I figure you guys do too. So tonight's topic of discussion, leave me a comment down below and tell me a song or a CD that reminds you of a specific time. Share that story. I wanna hear what you guys have because I think about this all the time. Like every time a song comes on the radio, it reminds me of something. Pretty much every song I know reminds me of something, especially older songs. So I'm sure you guys do this too and I'd love to hear what songs are important to you and why. So let me know, comment down below. And now, it's time for Zumba. Driving home and I just saw this house and I had to pull over and film because I like these people. These people are definitely awesome. They actually have a giant pumpkin projected on the side of their house too. But I'm in the dark. Uh, I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I have to see that house. And I pulled onto the street. So I don't know where I am, but I had to show it to you guys. I like this neighborhood. These people are awesome. I love it. Oh my goodness. I hit the jackpot. Too bad the trailer's right in front of it. Not quite as good as your neighbors, but I give you props for trying. So I hit a dead end while I was in that neighborhood, but I could see like a house that was lit up like crazy. And I'm pretty sure I know how to get there. So I'm gonna go try to find that house for you guys because that looked awesome. All right. Love that. That is awesome. I want one. But look at this house. I thought it was Santa at first. It's a skeleton monkey. There's a black cat. Pumpkins. And this house too. All right, next year we're getting Halloween lights. We're up in our game next year, I'm telling you what. New favorite. They have a graveyard and everything. That's awesome. And there's like, I think they're like playing poker or something over there, the skeletons. That's awesome. Only ones in our neighborhood that has Halloween decorations up. So I want to come live in this neighborhood. <laughs> they're festive. I like it. The camera's dying, but I had to show you this last one. This one definitely wins. This one is the winner. Amazing. I love you people. Whoever you are, I love you. I have it. Zoodles in the sauce. And they've already pretty much gotten soft, so we're good to plate. And there's bruschetta. I did two so that the other two don't get soggy while we wait, but I found this at the store and it is awesome. So there we go. Time to plate the pasta. So it's not the most photogenic ever, but looks good. Colby thinks he wants it. <laughs> Here we go. You have a very captive audience in here. Oh, never mind. Colby decided he wanted to play instead. Foster is still very captive. Foster. That's too far. Oh God, yes, I got the fork. I got the fork, yes. 
Jackpot. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Dad, could you drop your fork again? That would be no. great. Please, Dad. Please. I tried to push him down. Took him out. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Foster just pushed the door open. Hi, Bean. Welcome. Welcome. So it is Thursday night. I came in the bedroom to vlog a little bit. You wanted to join me. Hello. Hi, cutie pie. I came in here because I realized that this week is... I believe the final full normal weekly vlog before vlogmas. So let me explain. Next week I will be flying, traveling for Brittany and Jordan's wedding. Uh, because of that, the following Monday, so next Monday for you guys, I think it's going to be a mini vlog of our Halloween stuff because this weekend I'm planning to do some Halloween things. We might be going on a Halloween adventure, and then there's the actual day of Halloween when we have the trick-or-treaters and everything. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna film those days, perhaps. I mean, I'm not quite sure yet, but I think the following Monday is just going to be Halloween weekend and my little Halloween special. And then after that, um, I'm gonna take a little break off of weekly vlogging, which I do normally, to amp you guys up for Vlogmas, because if you haven't been with me for Vlogmas yet, I vlog for 25 days from December 1st through technically December 26th because I vlog on Christmas Day, upload on the 26th. So 25 days of daily vlogging, which means I need a little break from having the camera in my hands and you guys need a little break from seeing me so that you're ready to come back and watch 25 days straight of us. So um, there's also a bunch of other things happening in November. So there will be vlogs. There just won't be full weekly vlogs. We have some adventures planned. My parents are coming to visit for Thanksgiving. My birthday's in there. The Renaissance Festival's happening. So I think there will be vlogs. There's just not going to be a full weekly vlog. And I'll probably share that schedule on social media if you follow me there once I figure it out. But uh, just want to let you guys know that this is the last full weekly vlog until Vlogmas. And uh, then we'll kick off the weekly vlogs again in 2018. But. Good morning everyone! It is Friday. Very excited about it. Plus, my work started a casual Friday, so I get to wear my cacti because it is currently in the 60s. Uh, I did read my weather bug and I think it said it was only going to be 65, however it's already almost 70 degrees, so I feel like I might be hot today, but it's supposed to be really nice this weekend, so I thankfully will just be in my cold office most of the day anyway. Okay, so I am off work early. And, I mean, I'm off work early because we're working tomorrow, but anyway, I went to the P.O. Box and I've already been here, um, Mike came by last week, so Jennifer, I have your package. I am waiting to my birthday to open it as per your instructions, so that is fine. Um, however, I just got the package from Michelle, who I think warned me that I was going to get something. Um, I just wanted to show you the state that this package arrived in. Um, it had a note on it when I picked it up. It said, received in damaged condition um, by the box clerk. I just wanted to show you what happened. So I'm hiding your address, but uh, this is what it appeared like. It looks, it looks like Colby had already like tried to open it is what it looks like. The actual package, everything feels good. The paper just got shredded. But I did find this. So thankfully that did not fall out. So I will wait till Vlogmas to open this one. I'll wait till my birthday to open one from Jennifer. But thank you guys already. Thank you in advance. I'm sure I'll thank you again once I find out whatever this is, but oh man. You guys are definitely counting on me to be patient here because one, my birthday's in late November and Vlogmas is, oh my goodness, Vlogmas is so soon. <laughs> but still. <laughs> thankfully for you guys, I am someone that is very patient when it comes to gifts and I don't like to spoil things. So I will wait patiently. But I am curious. So Target has a whole Stranger Things section. Sadly, uh, none of it that I really like, but it does exist. Looking for advent calendars. Target has a bunch. And they have the Tsum Tsum calendars. I ordered one off um, Amazon again. But there's a bunch of different options this year. I wanted to show you guys a little mini Target haul. They have these awesome NASA sweaters that this one is super, super soft. And this one I just love. So I had to get both of these. I actually have a shirt with this print on it from actual NASA. But I love that it's a sweater form. Space shuttle. Love it. Love it. 
And then I'm not usually a huge Mickey Mouse fan. I prefer some of the lesser known characters in general, but I love this color on me. It's one of my favorite colors on me. And this sweater was ridiculously soft. So I got it. And isn't that always the case? You go to Target to get Halloween candy and you come out with a bunch of sweaters because Target. The Stranger Things came out today, Stranger Things 2. I'm hoping Mike has some time to watch at least an episode or two tonight. If not, definitely starting that tomorrow. It's kind of perfect weather just being blankets, watching Stranger Things. Super excited for this. So Mike's working. He's on a work call, but Foster, what are you doing? Are you mountain dog? Like, here's me on sofa and he just climbed up there. Mountain dog Foster. Yes. Oh, uh, so Mike finally got off his work call. So we went and got dinner. Now the boys are extra excited because we came home. <laughs> Get this ridiculousness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wow, boys. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Never mind, he's back in the game. Please start spinning around in circles, I will laugh. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, Ash won, and off they go. All right, you won, Ash. I saw it. Okay, I'm your I'm your witness. <laughs> Foster just did a victory lap. Oh, goodness, get it, Foster. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's too funny. The, the sofa is in there for the moment because Mike got a new desk that he has to put together, but for now, Foster's using that to his advantage. I have proof that you actually like him, Foster. I have proof that you guys are actually friends. Everyone has seen it on YouTube. Everyone knows. You do actually get along now. You can't fake it anymore. Oh, let's just cut the end of it. Hi, Dad. Your dad. Hanging with you. Just in time for Stranger Things. Now it's Stranger Things. <laughs> we were on season one, but we're good now. Just before I was born, a month before I was born. Crazy people. Who would skip this intro? It's so good. I just crazy people. I was good timing, right? I might be excited. Mike's ready to go to sleep, and I'm like, we have to watch one episode. We have to. Wake up! Mad Max.